Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I'm opening phone lines. I know my topic is very hot. But uh, I'm opening phone lines because I've already seen some people already uh, calling. So you can call in. Members of parliament, JJ, you go and, you know, abduct him and want to kill him. At the end of the day, when people protest, uh, you, you bring him back and you incarcerate him. A number of members of parliament are being suspended every day when they debate on issues that really matters for the Zambian people. You suspend them. Your ministers, they are like chickens. They can't talk. They can't talk. They are so scared of you. It is only Haka in the HDM. But you move Haka in the HDM. Do you think Zambia is your farm? You think Zambia is just for you? And you can do whatever you want. You think so? You think so? I'm opening phone lines. I know my topic is very hot, but uh, I'm opening phone lines because I've already seen some people already uh, calling. So you can call in. You can call in and express yourself. I know you you may not have to be. Uh, as whatever but you can express yourself because i know uh, this is a service that i do that through this platform people are able to say something hello hello oh uh, uh, I'll just like, um, you know, all that you've said, and I've just got about maybe three questions that I want the president or people that are listening to know. Why is, why is our president, the current, like the current president, so scared about ECL? My main worry and why I'm now getting even worried is when you have a former president who stuff more presidential than the incumbent, they know that the incumbent is a failure. Because I've, I, lose, I, I listened to the interview that ECO had with Canary. Oh my God, he sounded more presidential than when our current president cannot even offer such kind of interview. And then I think you said it, Kuma, last. You know, my HH, if he can look and look at what he promised and deliver on that, believe me, ECO will not even be a factor. But because now he has not delivered what he promised, that's why ECL now is a factor. And what we are saying about Chilusia, believe me, it's you know the the HH is just digging his own downfall. Thank you. Thank you, my children. God bless you. Mm. Hello. Yes. Yeah, I'm quite. I'm quite. Ningu for a few much. What you said there is so many wound in the game. I can tell from how you're talking that you are panicking, sir. If Ted Balungu will rule this country, well, why, why are you so much panicking? People will choose him on their own, but it's like you want to force him on us now. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, my brother. You are saying, uh, um, uh, if people uh, wanted Galungu, I mean, they will choose him. But uh, haven't you heard? Yes. Haven't you heard that Haka in the issue is suspending judges who are supposed to hear the case of Edgar Lungu? Haven't you heard? Yes. 
Is that okay? No, that I've seen. But, yeah, but is that okay? No, the thing is that you, you, you want only things that come in your favor. No, 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 no. No, you don't no. want people who oppose you. Okay, my brother. Oh, like the way I'm opposing you here, uh, uh, I know you cut me. No, no, listen. You can oppose, but when we are opposing, because people are listening, isn't it? So we should make sense, isn't it? Yes. We should make sense, we should be yes, logical. Yes. Why? It is okay for you to oppose me. Yes. It is very okay. I will not refuse you to oppose me. But let us mm -hmm. uh, be logical so that even the people that are listening, people, a lot of people are listening to us. They can hear your point. Yes, yes. My yes. point is, is it okay for Haka in the Ichirima to be removing judges in the manner that he's doing? Is it okay the people, the people, the judges that are supposed to, by the way, Ed Galungu is going to court tomorrow. And these are the judges who mm -hmm. are supposed to hear Ed Galungu's case. Is it okay for Haka in the Ichirima to suspend them? So uh, when you look at it, you want it, you want SS to keep those judges because they never get the Ed Galungu in 2016. No, the question is, is That's it okay? No, is it okay? Is no, it I'm okay? Also asking you. I'm also asking you. Because they would be Ed Galungu's favor in 2016. You want them to be still there? I don't want them to be there. If they are wrong, uh -huh. so that's uh, wait, 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 a, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want any bad judge to be there. But whenever the, yes, yes. that bad judge, uh, there is a bad judge, there is a way that things should go. And for me, I believe that what Akainde Ichirema is doing is not following our democracy. That's what I believe. That's what I believe. And that is my point. Okay. I know there are a lot of callers calling you. One last question. Mm. What do you think is going to happen with H8 wins again? What do you think will happen to you? If, he, if listen, it's a democracy. Mm. He won in 2021. Yes. He won in 2021. As much as yes. I may have uh, my own re reservation, but he won. And I respect him as a president. So if he wins again, I will respect yes. him as a president if he wins. But... What about you? What about you? What is going to happen if Ed Galungu wins? So you mean Ed Galungu is coming to discipline people but not look at uh -huh. the economy? As you promised Have me? you seen? In a, I am accepting that if, Ed, if Haka Inde Ishlema wins democratically, I've got no issue. But for you, when I talk about Ed Galungu, you start talking about, no, he's going to do this, he's going to do this. Who is being democratic between you yourself see, and myself? You see, where, where, where we don't agree, Mr. Tia, Mr. Tia. Mm. You know, Ed Galungu is not bringing out solutions. No, he he did, you, did, you, did you hear? Did he you hear? No, did you hear the interview is. that he had in, in, in Lundas? Did you hear that interview? He was very elaborate. That's very that elaborate. Is. A friendly interview. Why can't you go to Diamond TV and face poster? <laughs> my brother, thank you, thank you, thank you, my brother, thank, you very, thank, thank you very much. The people will judge. Thank you very much. Mm. <laughs> thank you. It's hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Yes, please. Yes, my baby. Okay. Uh, about the judge. Yes, my question is uh, remember when the candidate was an uh was in opposition. When uh the line is not very good. Maybe if you can call me again, I can have you here. Hello? Hello? Yes, good evening. Good evening, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Hello? Hello? Yes, yes um, I want to make a contribution. Are you able to get me? Yes, I'm able to, hit, to get you, though. I don't know if you're using earphones or you have put it on loud. It's not becoming, it's not coming out clearly. Are you able to get me? Okay, let's try. Hello? Yes. 
it was good for the president to suspend those judges because those judges they are PF cutters. We need to study it in judicial. So we should remove PF cutters and keep UPND cutters. We need people who are neutral. And uh, you believe that, uh, uh, for example, the president, uh, uh, Professor Munalula, you think uh, Professor Munalula, the president of the Constitutional Court, is neutral? The, the, that, is the, the judge, that is the judge who has always been ruling in favor of Haka Inde Ichidema. So she's neutral because she rules in favor of Haka Inde Ichidema, isn't it? She's neutral, yes. Because she rules in the favor of what? Haka Inde Ichidema. Yes. Do you know where the okay. problem is? That's fine. And that is democracy to you. Listen, yes, it is. Okay. Yes, That's listen. fine. Okay, thank you. The problem with you, you are... <laughs> Thank you. That is democracy. It's okay for all the judges that are in favor of UPND, it is okay. You know, but for those who, who are against him, it's bad. Hello? It is okay. Hello? 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 I can hardly hear my brother. I don't know. I think, he, please, when you talk, um, use the phone number. Yes, hello. 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 Good evening, Mr. Tad. Good evening. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, tomorrow, mm. as Mr. Uh, on the 26th, as Mr. Chagwalungu mm. goes to court, mm. us as Zambians, we, 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 we still have confidence that Ed Galungu is going to have the same judgment that he had uh, before 2021 elections. We, we expect nothing but the same judgment because that issue has been dealt with four times. This is the fifth time to be dealt with. So we don't expect anything less than what we had. Then the other issue, why why is the president so scared of Beti Galungo? Isn't it that he won by hundreds, uh, uh, one million votes? So why is he scared of him? So let, let, like he said today, like Ed Galungo said today, uh, if there will be no Ed Galung on the ballot, no 2026 elections. Thank you, Mr. Tad. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mr. Tayali. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. Um, you know, some of us are non-partisan mm. because of uh, religion, mm. religious uh, reasons. Mm. And uh, I just hope um, Valungu is listening. Um, Valungu, you say you want to come and uh, save the people. Mm. Now, with these that is that is going on, mm. it's the people who are suffering. You know, when two elephants fight, mm. it's the grass that suffers. Mm. So the grass here is us, the people. Mm. Now, with the way they are going, and for listening from what you are talking, mm. so it means Valungu's um, plan B is a coup. Uh, sorry, ma sorry, madam. I, I am. It's me talking here, and in, I'm not representing Edgar Lungu in any way. In any way at all, I am speaking independently. So whatever I'm saying uh, should not be attributed to Edgar Lungu. And I have not said 
that if Edgar Lungu is not standing, then it's a coup. No. I am simply reminding what has happened in the past when there is a, a oppression in the country. When there is oppression in the okay, country, such things happen. Such things, a coup, many other things, people killing themselves, people protesting, many things happen. Okay, because he was saying that um, they have a plan B. But yes, so that's why I'm saying I hope Valungu is listening. Mm. Valungu Tata, if your plan B mm. is an attempted coup, Pwakana, Pwakana would rather be where we are. And uh, if you say you want to come and save the people, why don't you tell the president your ideas? Why don't you sit him down and give him those ideas? My sister, my sister, I like how you are coming out. Haven't you heard the opposition talking, uh, giving ideas to President e Haka uh, in the HDM and you don't listen. And I can give you examples where the opposition gave ideas to Haka in the HDM. When they were selling milli meal, when they were selling bags of maize, the opposition came out and said, Stop selling uh, maize. Did Haka in the HDM listen? No, he didn't. Even on electricity, you are, load you are being load shaded, and you, even you, I'm sure you are suffering out of this load shading. And we, the opposition, including Ed Galungu, have said, stop exporting electricity. Has Haka in the listened? He has not listened. So what do we do? Okay, I think that was in Parliament. No, it is everywhere. It is everywhere. No, but that argument about the maze was in, um, in Parliament. Yes, and the Ed Galungu has members of Parliament who argue on his behalf. Yes, but now since it didn't go, no, he can't it didn't go, go through. He, he, yeah, he can't go. Okay, mm, it, it didn't go through. Mm -hmm. It didn't go through. Mm. As a good leader, you've been talking a, a good leader. Mm. Um, Valungu, why mm. doesn't he request mm. to meet by 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 H and give him those ideas which he, which he thinks that he has no thank you my sister i've heard your point thank you mm, thank you and uh, he's not the only one who can stand he is not the only one who has the power do you also, so as you were saying but do you also agree that uh, he's not the only one but do you know that there are people who, th who want him to be on the ballot? There are people, Zambian people like you, they want him to be on the ballot. Is it right for uh, Haka Inde Ichirima to bar Edgar Lungu when there are people who want him to contest? Is it right? No, it's not right. Thank you. Thank I you, understand you. Let no, me, it's not right. Let me, let me allow please, other callers. Let me allow other callers to come not the me. only one who can stand. It's true. And it's not everybody who wants him. It's true. So, elections should decide. Isn't it's not it? everyone who wants him. He shouldn't impose himself on us. And, and I am sure you and I agree that the only way we can tell is to have an election so that we see how many want him and how many don't want him. Isn't it? Yes. Thank you. So, let him go those people. Hello? 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 Yes, sir. Yes, good evening, Mr. Good evening. Thank you very much. Uh, we are following what you are saying. I just wanted to, to answer the same woman who has the same woman who have just cut it. Mm. When someone said plan B, it doesn't mean it's a coup. No, <laughs> it's maybe Edgar Ungu will say I won't stand. <laughs> Let me, why, why are they trying to think of a coup? 
There will be no a coup. Yet Galungu be on the ballot, and the people will stand there and vote for him. Then if he loses, he loses. If he wins, he wins. That's all. All what we want is democracy. That's all. To lead the Zambia. Hmm. That's all, Mr. Tayari. Thank you very much. Thank you. All we want is democracy. Oh, simple. All we want is democracy. Hello? 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 Yes, yes. I can hear you. You can hear me now? Yes, better. Much better. Hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Mm. So, I have a question. I asked you a question, though I couldn't. Yes, so my question is, it mm. is that you remember when uh, the current president petitioned the my election, uh, standing Yaba ECA on last time? Mm. Do you remember the statement by ECA made when he was the president? Mm. Why is he who made the statement telling those judges to say, do not try to be heroes like your friends in, your friends in Malawi? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now that this time around, the same case has been brought up. Mm -hmm. The current president, HHR, has decided to suspend those judges. Mm -hmm. Where do you think there is a problem for the president to do that? Okay, first of all, um, Edgar Lungu made that statement. The question is, yes, that, I, yes. that, uh, that maybe we can extend is that, what is my position on that statement? I don't support it. That is my statement. I don't support it. It wasn't right to make that statement for the Republican president. Now, coming back to this uh, suspension of these judges, Edgar Lungu made a statement, but no judges were suspended. But Haka Indeishi has gone ahead to suspend judges. Okay, wait, okay just, just there, Mr. Tayadi, can you just wait on there? Mm. Yes, Edgar Lungu never suspended those judges because the ruling any judge, not went most in judges, favor. Any judge, not any judge. Oh, okay, any judge. Okay, example, wait a minute, wait a minute. You are saying because they ruled. They ruled in favor of HH. There was Professor Munarula. <laughs> Professor Munarula, who is the president of the Constitutional Court, ruled against the, uh, Edgar Lungu. Was she suspended? No, she wasn't suspended, but Edgar Lungu stood. She wasn't suspended. The point is that she wasn't suspended. That's the point. She wasn't suspended, but Edgar Lungu stood. Was it wrong? That is stood? No, according to that time, it wasn't wrong. So, what is wrong now? The thing that is wrong now is because it's the same judges that made Edgar Lungu to stand. Those are the same judges that have been suspended. Okay, so, so, so now you have seen that it's a problem. Okay, so basically, for those who ruled for uh, Haka in the Ichirema, it is okay for them to continue. But for those who ruled uh, for Edgar Lungu, they should be suspended. Is that what you are telling me? The point I'm trying to tell you, Mr. Tayari, is that we, me and you, we do not have the intel that these presidents have. Because me, I can say something, and me, I can say something because HH is ruling. You, you can say something else because Ed Galungo is ruling. But do you know the kind of information that these presidents are given? <laughs> and uh, let me tell you, my brother, I want you to know this. Uh, the president has the right to explaining to us. If there is information that he has, in the spirit of democracy, he is supposed to tell us so that we understand. So we should not let our leaders get away with criminality by the fact that no, they have information which we don't have. That information should come to the people. So far, what we know is that those judges ruled in favor of Edgar Chagwa Lungu and they are being punished for ruling for Edgar Chagwa Lungu. Whilst those 
who ruled in favor of Haka Inde Ichirima are being promoted. A good example is uh, Professor Munaruna because she has been promoted. She did a good job. But is that democracy? That is not democracy, my brother. Let me allow others to come in. Thank you. Hello? Hello? President your platform is democratic. It's for me, Munga. But you president of HH, now president of HH, get a room. We vote for president of HH. So I want to say, we're going to to go to the meeting. But want to say, we're going to go to the meeting. We're to go to the meeting. We're going 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 to go to the the we should have both sides. Eh? Even those that don't want Ed Galungu, they should call and say that they don't want Ed Galungu. And those who want Ed Galungu, they should also call and say we want Ed Galungu. I think that is a democracy and that is what I espouse for and I want to stand by that. But guys, you, you see, like that caller, President Ali, mm. let's have a conversation. Conversation among the nine, one side did not move such in Sarah, but after the Chimkas in that in Venea Fool. So, I so Vera, Vera, that's why I am engaging, even you, I'm engaging you so that people can make a judgment. There are many people who are listening to this program, many people, and those people they are the ones to judge. If I ask you a question, you don't respond. People are making a judgment, they are making an informed decision. So you don't have to worry when he doesn't answer or he answers something else because this platform is meant for people to be informed and make a, a sound judgment. That is not, that is the, the point. Mm. Uh, okay, I'm back. So, I'm going to go to the chamber. I'm going to every time. Thank you so much. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. Mm. Hello? Hello. Yes, good uh, good evening. Good evening, President Tayali. Mm. Uh, I just wanted to say, as Zambians, mm. let's learn to be objective. Exactly. In the way we look at things. Mm -hmm. And uh, and also make our judgments. Mm. At the end of the day, there's, there can only be one president. Mm. Posterity will judge us. If we, 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 we destroy the wings of governance, because at one point in time we supported a particular leader, it would be very sad. Mm -hmm. And remember, the Zambians that are here now mm -hmm. are not the only Zambians. They are our children and grandchildren mm -hmm. to come and continue to live in this country. Mm -hmm. So let's not come here pretending that we do not have any opinion and acting as though we are Jehovah's Witnesses and we are non-partisan <laughs> when we are speaking like hardcore cadres. <laughs> let's be serious and let's be objective. Seriously speaking, mm. you, you cannot just be insulting without any point. Mm. And say, I what you are paid. Can you do a bit more research and work and bring proper debates here? Thank you, Matayari. Uh, Thank you. Can you do a research and bring proper debate here? Can you research and bring proper debate here? That's a good point. Hello? Hello? Good evening. Hello? Good evening. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, uh, my issue is uh, with uh, that lady who doesn't even vote. Well, we don't know if she doesn't vote. I think let's see, make our point. Let's leave the lady <laughs> just to counter on the on the points that she raised. Bring up, attack the points. We don't know if she doesn't vote. She might be a voter. We don't know. Mm. No, she said it. 
No, she said she's not partisan. <laughs> not that she doesn't vote. She said she's not partisan. She said for 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 religious purposes. Oh, oh. Okay. 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 Let me. Okay. I, let me. I, I, let might, me I might have missed that. Okay. Yes. Go ahead, sir. Mm. Yeah. So, like, like you're saying, mm. most Zambians are quiet. Mm. Not that uh, they are happy with what is happening. Mm. But we are intimidated and oppressed. Mm. That's what um, uh, our president should know. Mm. It's not that we are we are happy with what is going on, mm. but we are oppressed mm -hmm. and intimidated. Mm -hmm. But for how long are we going to be intimidated and oppressed? Mm -hmm. Is a question that you must answer. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are intimidated and oppressed, but for how long? Hello? Thank you very much. Hello? Hello? Yes, yes, sir. Good evening, Mr. Dufia. Good evening. Okay, I just want to make my point very clear, mm. especially with the previous three callers. Mm. You PMD guys, what we need to know, yourselves and us who are pro PF or pro ECL, is that the government is made up of three arms of government. Mm. There is the executive, the judiciary, and the legislature. <coughs> and the people came up with this idea of the government being made up of these three structures. And they emphasize on the importance of independence, these organs to be independent mm -hmm. from each other. Mm -hmm. It's for the purpose of promoting good governance. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to dwell on the judiciary especially, because that's where the case point is. Mm -hmm. The judges cannot be removed from office by any other mm -hmm. uh, office bearer, maybe in other institutions. There is a procedure that needs to be followed. So that guy who was talking about, the one we were asking to say, okay, so this judge who on paper has been very consistent in uh, making rulings in favor of the then opposition leader who happens to be the current president, who was saying, yes, it was okay. But those who were opposing, it's not okay. Needs to know that uh, these judges are protected by law. The president cannot just wake up and decide to say today, because this one was not voting in favor of me, they have to go out. No, they are protected by law. And hence, there is proper procedure that needs to be followed. So previously, there has been on seven attempts where they wanted to be removed. And the then the JCC chairperson had refused to say there was no case. Now, because I they have to go. Like you said, he owes us an explanation. Let him put it in black and white so that we know. If that is not done, if you feel that you can't challenge that if you can't do it, you can't do it. If you can't do it, you can't do it. All of our heads are going to work on it. But they don't go to the street, no. Thank you, Mr. Tayad. Thank you. Let him explain. If you're afraid to Kalipa, that is what is hurting us. And anything can happen. Hello? Yes, good evening, Mr. Tad. Good evening. Yes, uh, I just wanted to uh, talk about uh, the lady who was saying she's non-partisan. Hello? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yes, uh, she was saying that uh, if this here has got plans to, she, he's got solutions to give to the president, why doesn't he, doesn't he meet the president? Mm. How, do you, how do you expect this here to meet the president when his family is being harassed? Mm. How does she 
expect it here to meet the president when the party has been given to two judges. Mm. The president to give out solutions when things are not okay in the country and we have seen the president now even interfering in the judiciary. How 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 foolish can ECO be to meet the president right now in this environment? So for ECO to meet the president, the president has to put everything in the right, give the party back to the rightful owner. And provide a conducive event for the opposition, and I'm sure it will be okay, and it will be easy for ECL or the opposition to meet the president and give out solutions. Not in this environment; it's not possible. Thank you very much, my brother. How can how Thank can you very much. Mm, uh, basically he's saying how can uh, Ed Galungu meet and talk with President? T? Ahaka in each demo when his family is being persecuted, when the party has been taken over, when the MPs are being arrested and being removed, how can there be a you know a good talk? Hello? Hello? Yes, yes. Yes, Mr. Kayani. Yes, how are you, sir? How are you? I'm okay, sir. Thank you very much. Uh Micron Giants. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Tayari, uh, I just want to comment by our lady, our children, that your ECL of Wile Akmanya Wakateka. Of Wile Akmanya Wakateka, what is the ECL? What is the ECL? What is the ECL? What is the president? Because when he was in opposition, right, mind you, he said, me have got nothing to lose. He's, he's the one in charge. He should meet me. So even now, Bakateka, Eva Fuile, Bambo Kutaprit with ECL. So that the level playing ground is level. Not ECL level, Papatila, no chance. The best thing we can do now, guys, let us register. Let us register for vote. Therefore, Pion Certificate Solvika. Thank you very much. My program today is simple. Thank you. Hello? He's, he's the one in charge. He should meet me. Hello? So, meet me now. Hello? 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 Yes, sir. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Come by here. Mm. Yes, sir. Now, Tara, I think we need to put we need to put things in perspective. Okay. Uh, first of all, mm -hmm. what, what we need to understand is that mm. every new government which comes in place, mm. they make some changes, whether at the judiciary level, and this this happens even in Europe. Mm. They make changes, mm. you know. The old man, the president in UK came in, he, he made some changes on the judges. Mm. Now, what is this scary news? Because you want those judges who are aligned with Lungu to remain at the constitutional court. That's not how it works. So, Politics in Ingalato. So, 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 so basically what you're saying and is it, that... So, it, will, it will not be the first time, even in 1996, the former president may is always in peace down the master dribbler himself dribbled him and he never stood you know and we moved on there will not be any chaos if the court will rule that Rungu is not eligible we will move on with our life what you are wishing for will not happen okay we know yes Rungu has got some pocket of support here and there mm. Mm. 
because he was a former president but what you are wishing that they will be cool mm. what what all those will not happen okay so okay so you are right my brother it's only that hh also it is himself to blame he takes to he took too long to sort out these guys mm. Mm? Mm. those judges were appointed by lungu we all don't know what we should be advocating for mm. is the process a transparent process on how judges are appointed mm. these people should be publicly interviewed all those who are sitting there are the lungu stooges they are lying to lungu so you want them to remain there mm. they continue fighting the government of the day mm. politics they have an agaisi kutikana mingala to my brother therefore you have a politics he is not standing temba i agree with you we are speaking yes. from different point of view you have got a diff you have got a, your point of view and i respect that and this is democracy you have got your view i've got my view yes. I respect your view respect my view yes politics could be now for me and i think you are right you have made a good point to say let's change the way judges are appointed i think i agree with you there politics could be now Yes, politics could be kind of, but at the end of the day, we have got the Zambian people to save. Thank you, my brother. Yes, I agree. So, Ngaba Pikanama politicians, we have made a point, my brother. Hello? Hello, good evening, Mr. Tad. Good evening. Ah, my dad, we are part of this channel. Mm. Zambia is a Christian nation. Mm. Mm. That is dishonest conduct. And the less, sir, therefore, I are dishonest. So that's why I tell you that because of these Mingaratos. Mm. I think we should put it clearly. Mingaratos are not going to be able to do No. I'm disappointed with the previous corner. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello? 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 Yes, my brother. Ah, we... Well, you are shit. Now, what are you going to do? You are going to do it. 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 You are you know, democracy is yeah, very important. And the trade the the Hello? 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 Yes, please. Which two wrong? Wrong one name. Eh? Yo. Hmm. Eh, what I had in Chico to Name Puja, hm? Eh, so what I had first catch Name got your pony, begging to ambit Pachet, Namu one minute is too long. Eh, Chicana and Chin to Kinikiranga, every day from Baba President, like HH, then we were like a compound. And the Kimeke wa Tuerepo, every day, the first one support anga, na HH Palasti, mwachi inja kuwa mwa tama. President ujina ngufu, ya kuchinja government ya njawa wa ya kune kufunya kuwe ya chinga kuwe ya ya pa first. Mwamu na te? Panone every day, so I'm a judge over 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 suspend. Ane wa Kimiko wa mamwa kuwa mba mjikuruba jura wa PF. So that I know more of a government in Jeep who can save his anchor. We are man and one one other. Hmm. Hmm. One of the movies. 
Ndeo mfwa. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Please go ahead. Mhm. So, kivi ndi mwe mwa shukuri kira bantu bene bena kyaro, basara bintu bene bene, yo vire bene, ngati meja kupota. Tewe tukasara chikone ku mona mba, awe ntangi witsunga burongo, nanguke chutsunga ne burongo tuvotere awa jinga bupa fest. Ukira every day mwa mbenga tupa mtu mu kime kyose, ne nangona kuingira kito ya wama. Mwakanje kumusanya chapo mbape wa service za burongo, ane ya vyo sema negative, negative. Sure, yo tsakana ngamjara. Okay. Hmm? I, I'm, 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 I'm hearing what you are saying, and um, unfortunately I cannot be able to articulate myself very well in Kaonde, but I've heard what you are saying. Now, and for the sake of the, the people who are listening, basically what this man um, is saying, is basically saying that, uh, I mean, the, the president is keeping those judges that will allow his government to run properly. And uh, uh, we should allow, you know, uh, people to to choose uh, between Edgar Lungu and Haka Inde Ichidema. Now, the question that I'm asking you, uh, is it right to remove, to bar, or to bar Edgar Lungu from contesting? Is it right? How will people choose if Edgar Lungu is being barred from contesting? Because this removing of judges is about Edgar Lungu not contesting. Do you think that is okay? Very much, yes. It is okay? Because uh, you guys, uh, PF, mem PF members, everything that the president do is negative to you. So leave him alone so that he do his job. So, so, so that is it okay? For you? I am not going to be able to do this. I am not going to be able to do Every day, every day, I am not going to be able to do this. So we shouldn't complain yeah. about, we shouldn't complain about uh, uh, electricity. No, you have to complain, but it's not in this way. Every day, I am not going to be able to do this. Same our opposition. Don't forget that. We are opposition. That is our job, is to complain. <laughs> that is our job. Opposition yeah, to complain. That more. <laughs> Unfortunately. Sorry, my brother. That is mm -hmm. our job. <laughs> that is our job. Hello? 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 It depends really, it really depends uh, because I mean if you, I'm quite, uh, it depends if it is okay. relevant to the program that we are talking about so um, try to be brief uh, but we'll, I will listen. Mm. Okay, um, I'm basing my comment on Parabari to Axal and that Fema Zambia and Storage the research, not just understand the Kulach, the Kulach, the Kulach that they are doing stations. Mm. So, what I did, I had to research some time back, but please, I am not incorrigible like YCO says. Mm. Um, according to the Constitution, yes, or for Navidangere. It states that one cannot only contest if he has done two terms, not so. That is the previous constitution. Oh, the current constitution. No. Um, let me, let, I, I understand your point. I think that the point that you are trying to make, in the previous constitution, it mm. is said that a person can only be sworn in twice. In the previous constitution the previous constitution uh, yes uh, so now i'm talking about the current constitution okay so the current what i have read in the current constitution and, and what have you read in the current constitution um would you agree with me that according to the new constitution someone can be a president in zambia for 11 years yes yes okay thank you so we are on the same page yes 
Mm -hmm. So what I have researched is someone can be a president in Zambia for 11 years with the current constitution. Mm -hmm. So I don't see a reason why by UPND are arguing that YCO cannot contest my elections in 2026. Mm. Because the constitution is clear. Mm. Now, listen, my brother. And uh, then I have listen, a funny question. Wait a minute. Temper. Wait a minute. So that, uh, you know, we are moving together. Um, I want to be, I mean, I, I, mean, I want to be objective. Even when I'm make, putting a point, okay. I want to be objective. The point of the UPND, a number of supporters, those who say Ed Galungu is not eligible to contest, their point has been that Ed Galungu was elected during the previous uh, uh, constitution. Are you follow me? Okay. And in that constitution, yes, it said that uh, you can only be sworn in twice. Okay? I remember okay. those arguments coming from Basangwa strongly. You can only be sworn in mm -hmm. twice. You can never be sworn twice. in yes. three times. So since Ed Galungu was sworn in, in the, the first time, 2015, when the constitution said you can only be sworn in twice, it means that the next time he was sworn in, uh, which is 2016, that's it. You understand? Okay? He went in 2015, the constitution is saying you can only be sworn in twice. Then again in 2016, he was sworn in. Now, the difference, the issue is that he was, Edgar Lungu was elected in the first constitution which said you can only be sworn in twice. The next time he was sworn in, we were having another constitution. You understand? Yes. Uh -huh. So, Edgar Lungu has got two legs. One leg in the old constitution, one leg in the new constitution. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the constitution that said you can only be sworn in twice. And then the other leg in the constitution that says you can be sworn in even three times. Okay? So he's in between. And this is what the court, the constitutional court, dealt with. The constitutional court said since Edgar Lungu is in between, and when they were changing the constitution, they didn't consider him what we should do in this case we will allow him because he's a transitional president he's a president who is between Correct. the old and the new so yes. we will allow him to contest we will not and deny him be between because he's in between so the constitutional court allowed him to contest okay so yes. that is the point that is the that is where we are the court allowed him and now hh has come he's saying you people who allowed him to contest you were wrong and it was a misconduct i'm suspending you and for those that did not agree he says you i'm going to promote you for example professor munalula she has been promoted she's the constitutional court uh, a judge president she has been promoted those who said no we will allow you Haka in the HRM, he says it's a misconduct i'm going to suspend you i want to fire you that is where you where we are i just thought that i should make this clarification so maybe you can go ahead and make your point you have made a good point and i think this point that you have made and the question i raised has helped some few people to understand those that have been arguing this matter every day mm -hmm. so now my my major contribution here is mm. Valungu is a transitional leader. Mm -hmm. So you can't judge him based on the past past constitution that was amended when you have a current constitution that we have to follow. Mm -hmm. So we have to follow the new rules of the camp. What does the constitution state? Valungu is a transition leader and the 2016 uh, constitution states that he, can be sworn in three times, so meaning the man still stands a chance of contesting the 2026 election. Unless someone has a problem Mumutwe, to start to continue arguing over that issue. I think most importantly, my brother, most importantly, 
we should say that there is a judgment that ruled that yes, can and there is a judgment that is ruled. Uh, whether that judgment you accept it or I don't accept it or we don't accept it, it has been passed. When a court makes yes. a judgment, we must accept it. It is wrong for a president exactly. to go and punish judges for the judgment that they made. That is our point. Thank you very much, my brother. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Hello? 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 Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, yes. Hello, are you listening? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, uh, I just want to, to, to contribute on this program. Very wonderful program of yours. Mm. Yeah, there's this lady who said Edgar Lung wanted to impose himself on Zambians. It is not true. It is us Zambians who wants to, who want us Edgar Lung, who want Edgar Lung to rule us again because of his wonderful contributions when he was a president. The policies were very, very favorable for Zambians. Yeah. So, Barabali did not have a perfect man and partisan. Barabali Barabali partisan. Barabali be parted galungu are focused on imposing by the former Zambians. Ni ifo of former Zambians for the mufuaya. If you come to Baba or come to Minina, if you take your catera fi bomba yo, mwenso be na bale ke emini me. So that it took us a refusing. If you have any work going in 2021, the Bakawin again, Bakawina. Thank you. Not mm. not there. Hello? Hello, Chongo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, President Tayari. Yes, yes. Yeah, I just want to add my voice to the suspension. Mm -hmm. I think to me, you know, uh, there, there are three arms of government, which is the judiciary, the executive, and um, the, but when you look at the president by firing the judges before the just before the judgment for the president Lung is coming. Mm. This shows that he, it's a prejudice. Mm -hmm. He has sub usurped and taken over the role of the judiciary. Mm -hmm. And the judgment that the judges are going to make, mm. it will not be free and fair. Mm. And therefore, I think this is an abrogation of the Constitution. Mm. Because the president is elected to, to uphold the constitution. But how can the same court that has already made a judgment, the president insists that another judgment be made? What kind of judgment does he need? Because the court already presided over that matter. Mm. So I feel that I think Zambians, we must wake up and do the right thing. Any president who just wants the coach to rule what he wants to hear is not fit for the office. Mm. Thank you. That would be my submission. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello? 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 Hey, what's the time? What's the time? We know, we know from Kwai. Hey, what's the time? Right. I just wanted to say something about democracy. Yes, I do. <laughs> democracy. Mm. Yeah, most of the African countries, do. you know, the people that you are favoring. Because if you look at more people used to complain. To mm. understand what you are the people used to complain. To understand what you are people are still complaining. When you are not here, people are still complaining. Mm. So there are people who are separated from the people, there are people who are separated from the people. Don't say that, even you, the people used to complain. 
So even right now, like, uh, we, we, we used to, we, I'm, I'm, I'm less to me, but people, I'm, 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 I don't know people like I can't even mention them like okay, let me just mention I don't know I don't know you say this very much. Can't they but why for the thing in our even people are expecting the thing to because of poor government you have you have a So the way it is democracy for you. What if cost people are you paying the people said and what the friend member whatever was going to come people who still complain. That's how democracy is in Africa. Yes, I'm, I'm, not in, I'm not in Canada, I'm in Canada, I'm in Canada right now, but I'm just telling you the way it is in Africa. Mm. Even here in Canada, people are still complaining to say they have brought the right to foreign mm. So everywhere people complain. Mm. So the way that Singapore, PND, PSA, 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 people still complain. That's the way it is in Africa. So now I'm going to call us, we have got you PND and we have got you PF. There are people who are taken in PF, there are people who are taken in UPN, that's the, the way democracy is in, in, in Africa. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry, 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 i am sorry 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 i am Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. I get your point. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mr. Tayani. How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you. How are you, sir? I'm very fine. Mr. Tayani. Mm. Uh, there is a lady that called. Yes, yes. And I think uh, that lady, she needs to pay attention to the current affairs and all the happenings in Zambia. Mm. Because what she said was not uh, correct. By and large, let me say, let me submit mine. Mm. Um, I think uh, our president, HHI, is a fierce man because he has worked around the clock to fight Edgar from every end. Mm. He, has he has abducted the uh, JJ because of his associations. Mm. He calls cases that we are worked on, mm. he brings them to life. Mm. Talking about the, the judges, mm. the three judges, mm. I think the, that petitioner is a UPND cadre. It's like the president just told that guy to say do this and is receiving instruction from the president. Mm. And uh, the, 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 the lawyer that we know, Vincent Malambo, mm. he had to write down to say, we have worked on this and we cannot take it on. Mm. How he can act on something that a honorable a man like Vincent Marambo, it baffles my mind. Mm. By and large, because I thought he would be a democratic person where you allow participation and not to eliminate uh, opponents. Mm. Those are outdated kind of politics Mingalato, that we wouldn't want in this 21st century mm. it's like by UPND even supporters they cannot even tell the president to say this is not it no. but now talking about the judgment for Edgar today I read something from KB, from this uh, lawyer Mark Edizulu mm. he said if at all they disqualify uh, Eddie Galungu, because of that he cadres in uh, judicial, mm. it will mean that all those office bearers who got the elections, an illegal election in 2021, they are occupying offices illegally, mm. which will mean that 
they have to pay back to the state all the money that they've been getting all this long. Mm. Because a president were upset when ministers were told to pay back. Mm. How can the UPND so be blinded by hatred of one person, Edgar Lungo, and shoot themselves? Government come and government go. Yeah. Should we have a, the next government who call this back to say, you guys, if, if I thought today Edgar Lungo is disqualified for the next election, then the election of last year, 2021, they were illegal because he participated in those elections. So these guys, they are not seen because they are blinded with hatred towards one man. Yeah. I think the UPND should get out of um, a hateful, hateful position and do the correct thing for this country. It's not about Eddie Galungo. Eddie Galungo can be only barot. The Zambian people will judge. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. I end my my submission. Thank you. Hello? <coughs> Hello? Hello, Mwabumbe, what the hell? I am Kwe Mwabumbe. Yeah, I am Kwe. You need a boy? Yeah. Yeah. I am Kwe. 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 But it is the beauty of a good one. They do a meaning again. If I don't do so, Nina, I'm a lawyer, they never were in the constitution. In people's career, since you have a young say, I'm a case, but I ran that you have a number of people who die. Eh? Ushima. I'm a case of forever. Our president was in the local right. Ed Garung was a focus. I mean, I'm going to first speech back with the other time we never made elections. Community house school. Hello? Yeah. What did I do? What Ed Garung was a focus. I mean, I'm a cabbie. I came in, but I can't go and share because if you think you're not a one. I don't know if you think you're not a one. If you actually want to work in a uh, no, thank you, my brother. Mm. So, the can if you have me in a two money, am my enemies work with the day room? How am my enemies work with the band? Thank you. Hello, 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 yes, yes, sir. Mm, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. Otherwise, I get surprised when we, when people start arguing over straightforward things. Mm. The, the issue of Eddie Galongo is just the same as someone uh, going into the shop while well on the queue and finding price of minimum at 400 water. Mm. Then while well, on the queue, they say they, the management say we have reduced the minimum at 300 water. Mm. Then say, oh, since you have entered, since you have entered when the price of minimum was at 100, then you are going to pay 400. That's the notion which they have. Mm. To say, since Eddie Garungu was elected in the previous constitution, then he cannot benefit from the new constitution. Mm. That's what he is misleading. Since he is just, as, just like say, the same as someone who is in the shop. And the price has been reduced from 100 to 300. He is also going to benefit the price of 300. Simple as all that. They, they remove the term. In whatever their, their argument, they don't want to include the term of office. What is the term of office? Yeah. That's the biggest problem which I found with these first singers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello? 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 Yeah, I'm quiet. Hmm. Yeah, I'll wait. 
Batari mkwete pwete ya Sorry? Laki mkwete program yesu masawa na... Thank you. Mm. Na, na, ifu, na ifu itu posipu. Mm. Mm. Nomba, watari... Eh, ndeo mfama contribution ya wantu. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, ndeo mfama contribution ya ama, ama views ya wantu. Hmm. Number, echo ndefu afi okuipusha. I think to those who can able to answer... Uh, my question and my concern. Mleo mfwa watari? Mleo mfwa, you are taking too long, my brother. Okay, okay. Yeah, echo ndefo oku yipusha. Number one, there, there are those who are complaining about those suspended judges. Number, ababa le complainer, what really happened for those judges to be suspended you know two uh but they land up the suspension you know always there's appeal if someone wasn't happy with the judgment which was passed by whatever whatever by Ed Garung if someone appealed you are expecting again win and lose there. It doesn't matter that if the judgment was rude in behalf of whoever, whoever, no. But if someone was not happy with that judgment, I would ask to appeal. And then by Rolesha Ponafuti in their case was that case we know because everyone is a human being he can make a mistake on on, on delivering the judgment it's not just because it's a Edgar Lungu which the case it has been brought again no but let us look was he I mean, before na na shukoko. Uh, Thank you, my uh, brother. You have made your Edgar point. Up. Thank you. Hello. That's why that lady Hello, said. Uh, hey, that, that that lady said. Next time, research before you come to the program. This guy is all over the place. Anyway, hello. Hello, what are you doing? Hello. I don't feel like you should research. Because hello, but you are late. I'm actually not allowed to make research. I don't feel like you should research. So, because one important thing, I want to show my friends who wish to watch our event. Which Trump does Vincent Malambo belong? You, you know, mm. is the state council. Mm. Why has he rescinded not to be part of that? Because he wants to keep his integrity. Mm. That's why we have even seen the documents where he has refused. Our Pangirege judgment, Niba Mrs. Jara, his deputy, mm. and Ed Galungu is going to court on Thursday. Mm. That case was supposed to be heard by a full bench of judges. The three they have removed their part of those who are supposed to hear. That's why people are suspicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I think we have had uh, a good program. I, I will come back uh, tomorrow and I want to... Um,
Okay, let me take this last one. Hello? Hello, good evening, Mr. Tayali. Good evening, good evening. I, I'm going to take yes, you as my last caller tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can recommend it's been a good program. Mm -hmm. I've been following you. I do follow you all the time. So, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's not about Edgar Lung, it's about all Zambians. Mm -hmm. Despite your current position, me where I am, I'm very comfortable. Mm -hmm. But I'm speaking on behalf of my friends who are in Zambia, who are suffering, and my family at large. Mm -hmm. So, but I've asked my Randa, Yoshani, that lady sounded like somebody who's comfortable to my soul about the and those, those things. But what about those villagers in Kasama? But I've asked my Kurwa Vekere, Kuchpidi, Vekere, Shani. So people please let's be realistic let's let's think about others mm -hmm. So Mr. Daddy I'll just say please continue the same spirit continue speaking for the masses We mm -hmm. will you know 2026 Thank you very much and uh, yeah Thank you so much and stay blessed Thank you my brother my sister Okay so I'm I'm going to end the program on that but tomorrow I will come back where I will dive in on the issue of the judges because today I spoke about it but I've not given you the details what is behind what is behind this suspension uh, this, uh, the suspension of these judges what is behind that is what I'll give you tomorrow tomorrow I'll give you the details specifically on these judges okay how did the story when was it, this case reported what really happened i'm going to give you the details tomorrow today i was just trying to uh um today i was i was just trying to uh do what i was trying to i'm trying to, to remove this yeah so today today i was just uh, uh, i was just addressing president haka in the and basically, my message is very simple, that President Haka in the needs to be very careful. He's risking our country. He's risking our democracy. Okay? That's, that's my, my, my message. And I've taken, I've taken from the history, what happened in the history, when people feel they are being oppressed, when people feel the, the government is not running things properly. What did people do? What do what do people resort to? And this is what I well, this is what I was talking about in this program. And some of the things that people have done. I'm not saying there is a coup that is coming to Zambia. No, I'm saying we had these kind of situations. And if President Haka in the HDMA continued to neglect, you know, looking at the plight of the people and usurping the responsibilities of um uh, of uh, of of the different uh uh govern uh, the different um uh, arms of government he might face a challenge he might face a challenge a challenge that might be very uh, dire to him and to the country this is my message don't take things for granted don't take things for granted don't think that when you are the republican president then you know everything you know you can do whatever you want we are all stakeholders we all feel zambia is part of us zambia is our country we feel it and when we feel oppressed we can react in different ways for me i only talk for me i only talk i've I've spoken my mind. Eddie Galungu is talking. Other opposition are talking. But what about others? What are they doing? That is the question. Tomorrow, I'll come back to give you the details on the judges. Thank you very much. And uh, may God bless you. May God bless you. Good night. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.